Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No, of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history. And needless to say, there's nothing exciting. Слушайте, но у нас получается только остался, смотрите, Джесс и наш нелюбимый сосед. Окей, ладненько, пойдемте, посмотрим, что у него там. Now that he's gone, we can get inside. Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes, and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. There. Job done. Отлично. Ой, Jesus. Are these... Да ладно. Relax, Mrs. A. Господи. Боже, что с этим человеком oh, не так? Good. That's good. Ah. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... О, господи. Маска клоуна, дьявола, хоккейная маска. Вот эту можно? Если наденут, это вся взмок над фото. Слишком много резины. Клоуна не хочет? Ненавижу клоунов, что лучше бы вообще не дотрагиваться. Да, это маски тоже терпеть не могу. Клоунов они меня всегда пугали. А это можно взять? Да? Уа! Стрёмная маска какая-то. Так, это только можно посмотреть. Это тоже можно посмотреть. Компьютер. Включить. Не сработает. Похоже, кто-то отрубил электричество. А, ну да, кто бы это мог быть? We need to make some adjustments. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Bloody ha! Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. This is it. We've got так. all we Отлично. need. Great! Are you going to tell me about the cat widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. Здорово, ребят, похоже, мы какой-то прогресс все-таки смогли сделать. was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his neighbors too and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. Здорово. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. Я даже знаю, кого она писала. Out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day, her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, 
she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger, rage even, her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge, for blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed, a cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat, and her face white, rotten, face of a corpse. Those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first, someone special, someone she really hated the most. Вот сейчас начнется, ребят, время истории. It was strangely quiet in the man's flat. As he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. Так, ребята, что-то происходит здорово, здорово. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. <laughs> As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. Ну-ка, ну-ка, ребята. Ой-ой-ой, сейчас мы ему отомстим наконец-то. Я тоже ждала этого момента не менее, чем Сьюзан. Так. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. Так. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. Здорово! Смотрите, мы сами придумываем эту историю. Я в восторге! Ура! Крипипаста! Я хочу. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Someone wrote cat killer on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong, and that something had entered his home now too. Ну же, ну же, ну же, ну же, я прям жду увидеть Сьюзен в образе. Tired as he was, but there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. No, no, no! A huge, pre-pitted, blood-soaked zombie cat sat on his bed, or the cat's nest was written all over the walls. A giant, blood-soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. Oh, he's so cute! Really stupid. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. 
that didn't really happen. No, it's me, you too. There's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? No, yeah, but I'm not sure. What really happened was this. Cat Widow is here. Was written all over the wall. Ты слушайте, главное, чтобы он умом не тронулся. Я боюсь, мы его слишком сильно напугаем. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. Yes, no. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? Aha, вон она. His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. Как они это все провернули, боже! He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a her. Вот она! Ура! In the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him. His knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then, he fainted. Отлично! <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. You sure, but the only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam, because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop, and all I found was a load of porn. Okay. Let's cross him off the list. No, у него же нет жены, правда? Ничего удивительного. Ладно, остался, получается, Джесси, да? Хорошо, пойдем искать. А, да ладно, наконец-то я додумалась, что надо делать. 
Слава богу, господи! So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? А подождите, квартира Джоу это там, где живет сатанист, это он и есть. А, значит нам на первый этаж, окей. Итак, ребята, я подключила там розетку, давайте. I should be able to use that computer now. Да. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. It's not him either. В смысле, не он. Но... That means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I, I, I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right. We need some sleep. Thanks, Susan. It meant a lot that you came with me today. Yes, <laughs> sir. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not no believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Da ladna! Flat five. That's the old guy. Can't be. Да, да не мог, да как? I guess we'll find out at midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. Да уж, да уж. Ну все, ребята, на финишной прямой. Что происходит? Так, а здесь что? Что такое? Нет, серьезно, я сейчас ничего не делаю, но игра что-то сама делает. Ой-ой-ой, это плохая музыка. It's just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Что это было? Бедная девочка! О, ребята, что-то странное происходит. Мы, мы уже вот возле финиша, и я чувствую, что что-то... Мамочка. Мне не по себе. Совсем не по себе. Где же 
Это не может быть, честное слово, это не может быть тот дедушка, я не верю в это. Ну, если они нас ждут, нам нет смысла прятаться. Частная собственность. Здрасте. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. Что? It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? Ну, откуда же нам знать? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. Так. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I can't be part of this. Что происходит? Да, о чем? You don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years, I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. Breaks my heart to do this now. О чем ты говоришь? Я ничего не понимаю. Пожалуйста. This, I was supposed to keep it for myself, but I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Ну и что? Окей. Спасибо. Что это? What is it, Mrs. A? Коробка. It's a shoebox. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? А, давайте. Маска? Oh God. Это Mitzi. Газовая We маска. have to get out of here quickly. Как он называется? Противогаз, mask. да. He's going to poison us. Как? Ну да, он же придумал вот этот способ э, убийства, да, самоубийства, как какие-то вещи он там смешивал и получался газ, который травил всех. Ой, 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 ой. It's too late. Задержи дыхание. Oh, shit. Shit. Что? Shit. Что? No! Stop that, Adam. You're going to kill your father. We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. Nyet. Нет. Нет. What about you? No. No, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I no. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... No! You've got to live, Mrs. A. Нет! To live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Нет, нет, нет. No. You've нет. got a date. And I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. В том-то и дело, мы же будем в порядке в любом случае. 